killed a man. It smells good. Not what I was expecting, it doesn't. Greetings! Hey y'all, in today's video, we are gonna be test testing out some manwich, which we brought back with us from the States. What's going on? This, yeah. So today we have got a Cooking with H special. Cooking with H. So what are we making today, Mrs. H? So we have got some minced meat, we've got rolls, and Alana's got the manwich there. So we have got manwich, which we bought back from the United States. Now a lot of you said that to make sloppy joes, oh, oh so and rolls, so it's sloppy joes. It's we're sloppy joes we're making. Yes. So a lot of you said to use the manwich sauce instead of making it from scratch because it's just as good. So that's what we're going to be doing. Fantastic. I've heard so much about sloppy joes. I don't actually know much about them, so we're actually going to make them. We did film lots of videos eating our way through Florida, mm. from Cuban sandwiches to Chick Fil A, Culver's, Taco Bell. Southern barbecue, <laughs> cracker barrel, oh, and much, much, much more. more. So go check that out after this video. Mama. I'm Dada. Hi. Hi. You say hello to everybody watching. You say hi. Oh. So yeah, today we're going to be making sloppy joe. So let's get on with the cooking. Okay, so I'm just going to put the minced meat in the pan and cook that because that's what it says on the instructions to cook the minced beef and then add in the manwich and just heat it up and serve. So yeah, let's get that cooking. So I'm not going to add any seasoning to the meat because the manwich sauce itself should be seasoned and then at least that way we can actually taste it and, and see what the sauce is all about and whether we like it. Okay, so when that's cooking, let's talk about this new FlexiSpot E7 desk. I mean, look at that, that's amazing. This motorized desk is just wow. Really sturdy, really strong, and I feel comfortable having it in the kitchen today for a bit of food prep for our sloppy joes. The FlexiSpot E7 desk has these up and down controls to raise and lower the desk so you can set it to whatever height you need or switch between standing and sitting during your working day. It took me 30 minutes to assemble this desk with the help of Baby H. She was trying to steal all of the things that she could get her hands on including the handy little screwdriver. There's also two preset heights so you can switch easily between standing and sitting. There's only one cable to power this desk and the rest of the mechanical items are here hidden in this lovely little cable tray. So if you like the look of the FlexiSpot E7 desk then head over to the website linked in the description for the brand day sale where you can get up to 33% off. The sale runs from the 22nd of May to the 26th of May so snap up a bargain. Luckily there's also a child lock. With Mr H being a whole foot taller than me this desk works perfectly well for both of us. Okay, so our mince is now ready. To add the manwich sauce, let's open up this bad boy. Ooh, okay. Very, very seasoned. It smells good. Not what I was expecting, it doesn't... It doesn't just taste like tomato sauce. Got a bit of kick to it, you can taste all these different spices. Well, I don't know what spices I'm picking up without reading the can. It does smell nice though. I'm tempted to try a bit, but I think I'll wait until it's heated and try it then. So we've just got to heat this sauce through before we pop it in inside of the sloppy gel. <laughs> Right, sloppy joes are ready. Now just to load up that into a roll. It does seem a bit alien to me having something this wet in a roll, but I'm sure it's gonna be good if it's an American staple. Look at that. I know. So I've gone for a seeded burger bun because it just did just say online just to get a burger bun. So I'm hoping 
but these burger buns are acceptable but let us know in the comments down below what your favorite way is to have this do you add cheese to it do you st yeah. stick in peppers and onions or more so or do you just go like like this just put a can of sauce in and have done with it we're gonna have this one aren't we because it's not actually time for us to eat <laughs> oh this looks great if you do like this kind of content, cook in and enjoy the American food. Let us know by liking this video and if you haven't already, please join our family and subscribe as we delve and eat our way through America. Right. I'm just going to get a plate because I know this is going to be messy. Okay. <laughs> just while Mr. Hayes is getting a plate, perfect opportunity to let you know that we do have a Patreon. If you would like to support the channel even more and see your name appear, I'm guessing it's going to be over here. To exclusive behind the scenes, merch tier dependent, monthly Zooms with us and chats directly with us and much much more but right, it's enough of my peddling let's get eating let's get hungry I'm already I'm, I'm hungry and I'm not meant to be right well, there you go right let's uh let's try it now I gave you a plate so you could bring the plate up to your mouth oh, okay. all right because I don't want you staining this desk no, no. so this desk will eventually go in the office won't it it is it's going up there for editing <laughs> yummy 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 let's try some Okay, I love that it's hot. I've got the tangy tomato there. Mm. Definitely taste the mint. Lots of spices. Do you want a bite? It's a lot more tastier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Certainly not bland by any stretch of the imagination. Mmm. Do you like sloppy joes? Mm. Let us know in the comments below. If you've got a recipe for sloppy joes, also let us know. Mm -hmm. Just killed a man. I think she wanted more. Let us know if you've got a recipe for Stoppy J's. You can email us at mrhmfriends at gmail.com or send it across to us on our website, which is www.mrhmfriends.com. I'm enjoying this. Can taste the Worcester sauce? Mm -hmm. I like the textures. I really like the textures. Um, out of 10, I'll probably give us an 8 out of 10. Ooh. Now, I don't know what to do about this because it's no Cuban, it's no Philly steak. Oh, I don't know. I've got to rate it in accordance to those. It's good, but because those are better, mm. I'm going to go six. Okay. But it is good. It's just that I liked them better. Yeah, yeah. I would add a bit of cheese to this as well. I think a bit of cheese. A bit maybe of cheese. A little bit of butter in the back, maybe. Maybe. But I think definitely cheese it would do. We, we were only going to have a bite of this, but I'm going to finish the whole thing. Yeah, me too. And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see you on the next video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>